I just went art supply shopping. The main purpose of the shopping spree was to prepare for the 100 hedge challenge. Yes, I'm going to take on the 100 hedge challenge. I want to do kind of like a mixed media type thing, you know, mix it up a bit so I don't get bored. So I had to get like a few more supplies for that. So that's mainly the bulk of what I got today, but the outdoor art fair season is upon us, coming up very quickly, and I need to prepare for that. So I did get a few canvases. Oh, we got a string, we got a plastic string. These are my all time favorite canvas. They're Apollon, uh, I use gallery style, which means it's an inch and a half thick on the sides. You don't need to frame it. You can frame it if you want, but you know, if you want to save some money, because we all know framing is expensive, get the gallery style. That way it could just look lovely on the wall. You can paint the sides. You could do like a wrap around. That's usually what I do. Or you could paint them like black or red or whatever color you want. Out of all the canvases I've used, I found these ones are the least likely to warp, which is really good because nobody wants a warped canvas on the wall looking all cracked out, you know? Okay, we're done with that. Next. So as I said, I will be taking on the 100 heads challenge. And you know, I wanted a nice mixed media little sketchbook that I could do all the media's in. And I didn't want to be stressed out that the watercolor was going to warp the pages too much. I didn't want to be stressed out that the gouache was going to also warp the pages too much. So you know what? I purchased this bad boy. A good old mixed media sketchbook. Soft cover. So you know it's nice and floppy. You can't hurt yourself. You can't, you know, knock anyone out by accident when you're walking down the street and this falls out of your backpack. It's Strathmore. That's the brand. This sketchbook is also 100% acid free, which is really good. We don't want any acid. Nobody wants to trip balls while they're sketching. Or maybe we do actually, because you get more inspired. But anyways, 64 pages of fun, enjoyable. Yes. And the size of it is 7.75 inches by 9.75 inches. Good size, you know, it's nice and compact. You can fit it in a backpack. You can fit it under your shirt if you're sneaking it into a concert where they don't allow sketchbooks. And the paper in here is a 90 pound pressed paper. Okay, so now I got fine liners. Love this magenta. Actually, when I first moved out of my mom's house and moved into an apartment in Toronto, this was my room color. It was super funky, super cute. I loved it, but also, Great color for a room in your house. If you're a little bit more mature now, you know, you have kids, which I do. So this color would be great for a room. Anyways, okay, I'm getting off track. Enough about colors in my house. So I really wanna practice like cross hatching and maybe even uh, pointillism on some of these faces. And you know, instead of just using like black or blue ink, these are a little bit more fun. There's a blue one, pretend I don't have that. The brand is uh, Stadler or Stadler. We've already determined in the last haul, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Stadler or Stadler Fine Liners. To be exact, Tri Plus Fine Liner. Bam. Then we got this beautiful pen from Pentel called Chadio Stylo, Stilo, Stylo, Stilo, Stylo. I don't know. Is it Italian? Is it French? Is it both? It's a multicultural pen. Let's just leave it at that. So this multicultural pen, I do not know if this is waterproof, so I'm gonna have to test that out. I was thinking, no, I could line the faces with this and then go in in watercolor, but now I'm like, oh shit, I don't actually know if it's waterproof, water soluble. So I'll have to test that out. But if not, you know, I got right here, Micron fine liners. I got a bunch of those, so we be good. Then I just got some classic Sharpies. You know, hey, look at these. There you go. You know, like pretty basic red, blue. Should have got a yellow just to make it a trifecta of primary colors, but I didn't. I am in dire need of new brushes. When I say like dire need, I mean like dire need. Like one sec, I'm gonna go get one. I've, to be fair, I've had these for years now. Show, show them, show the people. It's like super frayed, but you know what? It does the trick, still works. So they had very, very low stock on my favorite Raphael brushes, these guys here. So I was only able to get two that I needed. 
Um, they are two flats. We have a six and an eight here. Gotta do the hand thing, you know? You know how it is out here with the autofocus. They feel so good. I just wanna like, but I shouldn't because I worked at an art store and I know people do like nasty things with brushes. I've seen a lady like put it in her mouth. She was like, to see how much of a point it came to. It was around that she was doing that too. And she was like, I know I just said I shouldn't touch my face with these. So where they've been, but I mean like it's my eyebrows. So it, like, it's not like, I'll just wash my eyebrows when I get home. I should do this before bed, actually, to help me sleep. Because I have trouble sleeping because I'm always too hyper. So if I do this, maybe I'll fall asleep. Okay, no, I'm filming a video. I can't sleep now. Okay, so now it's the fun part. We got Windsor and Newton designer gouache. I got like a little set of... Okay, so here's the thing. Wait, let me explain something to you. I, in all my years of making art, have never used gouache. But, you know, I've been watching mad art YouTube videos lately and everyone uses gouache and I'm like, fuck, like that looks pretty sick. So I'm like, you know what? I need to give it a go. And this is just like a primary set. They don't tell you the actual colors that are in here. So, you know, I have an idea. I'm gonna assume they call all these colors primary. Here we go. Yep, I was right, we got a primary yellow, woo! Primary red, woo, can you see it? Woo, we have a primary blue, yeah! And there's a green, they can't call that primary. It is a permanent green middle. And then we got an ivory black and a zinc white. And as we all know, or may not know, zinc white is a very good mixing white. Just a little tip for you. I got like, the basics kind of for making skin tones. Well, the way I make skin tones, a lot of people don't make them this way, but I do, so. And we have the primary red, so obviously I can mix some red, primary blue, primary yellow in here, but let's start out. My most favorite, the raw sienna. And this brand here is, yeah, Holbein. I've heard great things. Someone has their lipstick on there. See, I wasn't lying when I said people put things in their mouths at art stores. It's my go-to for portraits all the time. Raw Sienna. We have a Naples Yellow. Pale Peach. Okay, it's not working. You're just gonna have to look at blurry tubes, whatever. A burnt Umber. Then we got a Blue Green. This is really pretty. The Sap Green. The Deep Yellow. And then I got a Coral Red. Light Apricot. And a Light red, bright. Aren't those so pretty together? And I was like, okay, I gotta do a painting with this color scheme, so I gotta buy them all. I just buy things because I like colors, but I guess that's what artists do, right? We buy, we buy paint because we like the color. Duh, Nicole. God. Okay, so the fun part, let's get into swatching things. Okay, so I got my little overhead swatching camera up there. Got my paper down here. Got you guys there. So let's swatch. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by swatching the skin tone colors here. So let's go. So that's the Naples yellow. Do one coat first. Then we'll lay down another one once that dries, obviously. This one is pale peach, okay. And then I believe this one here is like apricot. Yeah, that looks a little bit more apricot-y. It's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, so far I really like the consistency of these Holbein ones. This Holbein gouache here. Feels pretty good on the brush. Of course I'm using, I'm not using the best brush right now. If I use one of my nicer brushes, it'll feel even better, even more buttery smooth. Or no, butter, buttery soft, buttery soft, that's the term. Okay, so now the fun colors. How are we gonna do this? Start with this guy. Down here, ooh, oh, that is, very pretty. I think that's the coral one. What is that one called? Coral red. <gasps> nice. And that one is so opaque. I love it. 
Ooh, oh, oh. oh my God, that's beautiful. I love it. I love it so much. Look at that. These guys are going on pretty opaque. Well, actually, if you look, as it's drying, it's becoming a little bit less opaque and a little bit more transparent. I am filming, right? Okay. Phew. Ooh, I love this one. This one's really pretty. I mean, they're all really pretty. I just love colors in general. Do you guys love colors in general? I love colors in general. They're great. And also I'm kind of like testing this paper to see how it's like holding up with the amount of water I'm using each time. Oh my God, I love these. Like, don't you love those colors together? I think they look so good. Or as Australians would say, so good. Mate, that looks so good. I love Australians. I wish I was Australian. Well, I don't, but I do. And it's kind of like, I've had this chat with many Australians, like Australians and Canadians just have like this unspoken bond. We're like very similar, very similar, but on like, in like different climates. I know I'm just swatching, but so far I find using gouache very relaxing because my acrylic painting technique is pretty not relaxing. It's pretty intense actually, the way I paint. So this will be a nice little change every now and then. Beautiful. Love the way this is looking. Okay, so I'll just finish doing a second layer. Let's check the other side. Oh, ah, it's kind of buckling a little bit. Maybe it's just cause it's still wet, but you know what? Okay, Nicole, you need to chill. This is a sketchbook. It does not need to be perfect. Pages are buckling, that is fine. If there are some crusty pages, that is also fine. Sketchbooks are allowed to be crusty. Okay, so here's the primaries. I'm gonna start with the yellow because my brush is kind of dirty. These already look, yeah, these are way more transparent, which I mean, I guess it's good if you're like building color, but I'm the kind of gal that likes to get straight to the point, so we'll see. So this is the primary red. Yeah, so honestly, I don't like how transparent these colors are, but I do like the way they flow. And maybe that has, maybe there's like a correlation there. There probably is. But I do really like the consistency of the Windsor and Newton ones. But I like the opacity of the Holbein ones. I'm going to do little fine liner swatches. Wow. I mean, these are just basic fine liners, Nicole. I don't know. I don't know why I'm swatching these. It's pretty much the color you see on the lid is the color that you're going to get. Just fun to test out all your supplies. That was kind of a stupid purchase. You can barely see that. It's barely going to show up in video, but whatever. And we'll do a red. I only got seven. I usually like to get an even number of things unless it's like one individual thing like this pen. I don't like that. I don't like it that I did that. Nope, nope, nope. I don't like that. Yeah, I definitely, I really, really, really like the consistency of these Winsor & Newton ones. They just flow off the brush onto the page beautifully. Yeah, I think I'm really gonna like working with gouache. It's just like, like I said, I know these are just swatches, but so far it's just very, it's a very relaxing medium. Let's swatch the Sharpies. Wow. I don't know why I'm doing this. Wow. Oh, you know why I'm doing it? Let's see if it bled. Okay, Sharpies really bleed, like really bad. So maybe what I'll do if I do like a Sharpie page on the other page, I'll do like, like an acrylic painting or like a gouache. So yeah, that's all the supplies I got for the 100 hedge challenge. Stick around, you're not gonna wanna miss the 100 hedge challenge. It should be coming up, should be posting it like the end of March. Um, in the meantime, make sure you check out this Ether Hall playlist over here, or maybe it's over there, somewhere on screen, and uh, enjoy more hauls or watch some other videos on my channel, you know, like whatever you wanna do, whatever tickles your fancy, go do it.